Alright guys, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed! Uh, about to continue where we left off last time. Thank you guys so much for just supporting this series so far. Uh, right now I'm doing the quest. It's, uh, there's two side quests I wanted to do in this video. And if we have a chance to uh, level up. I'm trying to get to level 10 before starting that next one. So we're going to do this one because it gives you a legendary outfit. And it's the closest one. So much love to all of you. Thank you so much for the support on this series. It's been... Uh, an amazing game so far. Can I see if you just pet him? There's no button for it. I thought you could pet those cats for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, let's keep it going. I haven't really changed anything since the last video. I'm just kind of, honestly, from this point forward, I'm just going to be showing every little thing I do. So most of the time, uh, the only thing I might do off recording is probably just... Like, going and buying materials or going and getting, like, some arrows just to get kind of ready for the mission. I just kind of want to explore everything on foot right here for some reason. Oh, yeah. I actually went and got the some of the fast travel points. There's only one right here in this area. So, we're just kind of looking around. I could fast travel there, but, like, why? Like, I'm already here. So, that's kind of showing you what to get. Wait, there's another one over there. There's two that's like some treasure and another point where we can use it to fast travel, so. Why is it loading? Oh, did you see that? It's like we had to synchronize back in. That was pretty cool. I'm going to wait till I get to level 10 before upgrading anything else. I'm hoping that I won't really have to worry about it too much. Alright, we're going to carry him back. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to get him to leave for hours. This is one of the first games I've seen that uh, gives you the option to turn on subtitles, but not only that, you also get a chance to, like, put the name of the character speaking in it. And I thought for this game it seemed really, like, something you kind of need, because there's so many characters in the beginning of this game. Let me call this, uh, this amazing horse I have. Place you there, buddy. Even though it's a little bit of a walk, I figured this would be easier. I think I can go around the left side over here. Potentially. We'll see. Yeah, it's been a great game so far. I'm I've am i actually heard the story. Now, this is just comments I've read on some of my videos. I've, I read that the story was kind of short. So, to make sure to do a lot of the side stuff. But the side missions really seem more like the main missions in most games. So, that doesn't really bother me much. I haven't seen any review scores for it yet. Kind of playing it early still. Well, I guess it's almost the day it comes out, really, so. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is going to be bad. Hold on, let me, let me just back up really quick. The good thing about this game is I don't really do as much, like, cut editing as I do with some of these other games I play. Simply because there's just so much to take in, you know? That is Pamu. What has happened to him? His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster! People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight! If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi! You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. But see, I knew there would be no way that that mission was over just from going and getting the guy and bringing him back. So, all right, let's go speak to the high priest. I'm really, actually heard this game on PC looks really good. I may have to test it out. I'm, I may or may not like. I'm not really sure what I want to do. It's like I want to. I feel like I want to get in a fight. I want to play this game on what I have now, just because I've got so far already. But I feel like I can get back to this point pretty easily. Your Holiness. I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu. He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. Fine 
beloved of Sekhmet, who illumines the double land with her flame. We give thanks for your presence on this sacred night. We I got a bad feeling about this fight, guys. I don't know. It's one guy, so... ...too strongly to your hearts. Isfet, the evil one, shall smite the goddess. Ah! And condemn Yamu to a hundred seasons of darkness. But should your hearts be pure, the goddess shall favor us. Shielding us from the obscurity of chaos! Let the battle begin! Alright, so... Um... Yeah, take that. Oh, the charge up! Get back! Dude, I like this weapon. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, I'm holding back! Tampering with her scales of judgment... Oh, that swing attack was kind of nice. Oh, back up, Brad. Woohoo! You can buffer the uh, weapon. Like, by, well, by that, I'm talking about like a fighting game type thing. I'm holding on the charge, but while I'm dodging. So you can you can do multiple things at once. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna go for heavy attacks on this. Oh, come on. Almost got him. Well, actually, I don't know about that. Oh, back up, Brad. Back up. Oh, come on, man. I need my health to go back up just a little bit before I feel more comfortable getting in there. Unless it's not going to go back up. A little three chops, my thing, you know? Dude, you do so much damage in that little... I'm gonna call it a rage arc. I don't know what you want to call it, really. Oh, here we go! He might get a hit on me here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, almost got him. There we go. Woo, I was scared. I could swear you were the blood eater herself. Ah. Oh, the priest's recounting of the battle between the goddess and Isfet was <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yamu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer. But I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so. They'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu. Whenever your journeys bring you to our gnome. Quest completed. 800 experience. I don't think that puts me at 9 yet, does it? Oh, it does! Nice! Ooh, and we get an ability point! Let's go, boys! Oh, look at this outfit we have. Hold on, I gotta put that on. That looks sick. I think his outfits really don't give you anything. Alright, see what it looks like. I like the armor. Can you tie? I, I don't know if you can toggle the uh, the helmet on there. Hold on, let me see what this is. What is this? Can you? Oh, you can go to the other world at any point. Ah, uh, I got you. There we go. Toggle the hood. I just wanted to wear the armor for a little bit. My dude looks beefy now. Look at this. I'll kind of mess around with it for a little bit. All right, what is the next one we have, guys? It looks like our next quest is the Book of the Dead. 
That is it, all right. Uh, so at any point down here, like I actually messed with this so you can go back and play as her for a little bit if you want to. I thought that was kind of a nice touch. I didn't expect that. There's a puzzle around this area, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I kind of prefer the daytime, so let me change it really quick. There's an ability you can get where it changed. Now, I don't know if it, it was about to be daytime or what, but I just think the graphics and everything look a lot cleaner and crisper during the day. Alright, let me see what I got. That's pretty cool you can get all the different outfits. I don't think the outfits give you anything other than just for looks, but it is kind of cool that you can uh, you can do that. So, alright, what we got? If I'm not mistaken, this one, it, if it's too far away, I may just fast travel, but... Oh, it's kind of by itself. I don't think I have anything yet. Uh, let's see, I've got that. What is this thing? Hold on. I've never seen that before. Is that like a high-value a high value target or something? What, what is that from? Oh, that's from Destiny 2, my bad. Let's see what this is, because I'm just curious. I don't know, maybe you get like special loot for killing this person. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this, but I, I examined it. You know, the body and everything, but I don't really know what you get from it. Maybe you gotta take it. Oh, you know what? Maybe you have to take it to a certain spot. I'll come back for it later on if it's a big deal, but I don't really think it is. All right, let's go ahead and head this way. Dude, check out this area, though. Isn't this a pretty game? It's like, uh... It's kind of one of those Assassin's Creed games that we all kind of hope to get. I still have the theory that one day if they ever make a ninja slash samurai, you know, type war, kind of like a Dances with Wolves type story, but do it in Assassin's Creed form. If they ever run that route, man, I'm telling you, they already got the Four Honor designers probably on standby. They made all that samurai gear look really good, so that's just my thoughts. All right, target located. We got a couple of enemies there too. Level six and seven. I'm pretty high high level for that. All right, so I think that's all the enemies. I'm not even worried about stealth, really. All right, I think I'm good. Let's just take it easy, Brad. We got this. Oh, we're in a area that has a captain as well. We haven't found the captain yet. Let me double check the area just really quick. Oh, we got camels over there. Alright, there's the objective. Yeah, it's gonna be in there. Oh, wait, that was something. There it is. There we go. I was like, you gotta follow the arrow a little bit, but... Alright, I'm tempted to go out guns blazing, or I guess whatever you would call it for Assassin's Creed references, but I could hop down. There's another guy right there as well. How many arrows do I have? I don't have many. Alright, I don't know if they saw that or not. Whatever, man. All right, that's two down. I got sleeping darts. I guess I could. I wonder how long they go to sleep for. Really, they still saw me there? I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever, man. Oh wow, they are coming at me with everything they got. Hold on. I gotta be careful here. I think if I take this guy, it's just the captain. And we got the loot. Dude, that knockback does like no damage at all, really, but it's 
there basically for the other thing. Alright, we got loot there. Some arrows. That's definitely what I need. That seemed like a pretty clean sweep, didn't it? Let's scan the area. We got something right here. I think that's just the loot from the other guy. Yeah. Alright, so we got some more arrows back, so that's good. Oh, we're going into like a little cave area. Hold on. Let me get my torch out. Oh, I just realized I could probably stealth kill this guy. But I gotta... Oh, I don't know. I gotta get around him. These caves always have a ton of loot. And the, like the main loot's right over there. I don't know what to do here, guys. I think I might just run in and fight him. Or can I just put him to sleep? I like how easy that was. Oh, he dropped a level 7 warrior. Oh, that's going to be nice. Here is the Book of the Dead. Becca will be pleased. Now to return this book to the old man. Oh, we got the hideout. You get 200 experience for the hideout. I bring the book to the old man. All right, I got the loot. I killed the captain. Oh, let me double check this room really quick. Oh, uh, yeah, and also, I, there's a, something else in front of me as well. Let me, uh, let me change these a little bit. Level 7 on that. I'll keep this one because the quality's pretty high. Still higher than some of the other ones. Uh, melee weapon, the one thing I did see. Uh, this is a level 9. It's going to be a little bit higher. Until I bring the other little sickle weapon forward. I'm just going to keep these other ones, I guess, on standby, really. Really doesn't matter what the secondary is. Uh, tools. I need to get more of that stuff. Alright, so... Oh, wait. I could craft that. Hold on. Did I have enough right there? Looks like I did, didn't it? Yeah, here we go. Nice. Alright. So it all starts out, and I guess it'll slowly turn... to the other colors as well. Let me scan one more time. Yeah, we got one more loot spot right here. A pelt. Oh, there's a couple more as well. Really makes sense to do that. Well, that should be it, guys. Guess I could run back and... Well, we got a few more spots right here. This looks like just... Not good. Basic loot, yeah. Nothing really extravagant. How far away do we gotta go again? It's all the way back in town. Could I technically just... Uh... It's like I just fast travel there, right? Alright guys, I fast traveled over here and it looks like it always puts you in a really cool spot up top somewhere. And there's just conveniently places to uh, skydive off of. The high dive off the top rope. We got another exclamation point right here. This is a different color as well. This is like one of my first times seeing this. Alright, what do we have? Magi, great warrior. Come, I sell you what you want. You need it, I have it. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Redda has your back in these desolate lands. You are but a boy. How did you come by such fine treasure? Plucked from the ancient lands of the desert, the sunken vessels of the Nile, refined by handmaidens of the gods, weaponry forged in Nubian mines, Persian jewels, and Assyrian treasures. I have it all. I see. You are well traveled for such a young man. Old wisdom, Neb. I have acquired from long nights in the desert with my camel. I will see what you have. Come, look around. If you want good, Neb, I have other jobs too. I can't show you the merchant's position. Oh, a legendary crafting material. Interesting. One random weapon or shield opens I'm on purchase. Oh, that's like a loot crate type thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, the one thing you do get... So, the little gold you get in the game, you can turn... Or the helix points, I think you can turn those into... Uh, 
you know, like the credits where you upgrade your weapon and stuff. So I, it's like 200 to 1,000. So I've used the one I did get in the game and uh, upgraded that. So here we go. This should give us some experience. As your father left us. His good life is over. He was too weak to live till you return. May he be conducted in peace. He was in despair that his car would not join my mother's. Where is his body? It is not too late. You are a blessing from the gods. He receives the rites in this small temple. All right, let's go back. <laughs> hey, it's cool how we had that uh, Darude sandstorm hit us just a minute ago. It, it seems like the way you, when you interact with characters in the game, it also, uh, I don't know, it, it just does something. It's like you can control your character a little bit still. You can rotate the camera around. It's, it's more of an interactive type thing than it used to be. Used to just be a stand there and take it, but now you don't do that, so. Hold on, what is this thing? Is this another side quest that you can get at least added to the menu? Birthright. I'll do that in a minute. Now, if that one gives us enough experience, I don't know what this is going to give. I think it's like 600. Uh, if we're close to 10, I may just go ahead and do another one, and then I'll do the main mission to progress with the story. Old man, your book. May it guide you to your wife's side. All right, quest completed, 600 experience. The Book of the Dead. Oh, we're close, man. Really close. All right, let me see what else we got. We do have this one that just popped up, and it's a level 9, and you get that. So, I may do that. So, when we come back next time, guys, I will continue where we left off. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. And take it easy, guys.